Hello friends, welcome back to module two, lesson number one, the golden trifecta to pick your winning restaurant concept. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how to find your perfect restaurant concept with the golden trifecta. Now, some of you might be asking, what is the golden trifecta? It is a framework that I have created over years of being in business. They have three different components. There's the restaurant, location, and customers. And when all three of these guys overlap, you're gonna see the golden trifecta in the middle. And when this exists, you're gonna have the highest chance for success in your restaurant business. Now, why is it important? Like I was saying, when a lot of restaurateurs, they create a business, they create a business because they think that they have this amazing idea that they see from out of town and they wanna bring it, bring it in back locally in where they live to be able to have and, sh and share with their community because they see it being really, really popular in the place that they travel to or they have this really, really good idea that they found on Instagram and they wanna bring it to the community and make it work. Or they just have this beautiful location in mind and they see it, they know for a fact that anything they do there is gonna be successful because that's the prime location. Oftentimes, this leads to confirmation bias. Now, what is confirmation bias? It is just finding facts that supports your idea that this is the perfect location and ignoring everything else. You're ignoring the fact that this location, um, there's no one walking by, there's no walk by traffic. You're also ignoring the fact that this location is probably 20% higher than uh, market rate in terms of rent wise. So you're ignoring all those, but because you fall in love with the location, you're finding everything that you can to support the idea that it is the perfect location for you. Now, if you wanna be able to build a profitable restaurant, then you must have all three of these components overlap to find this golden trifecta. And once you are able to identify this, that's when you have the highest chances of success in your restaurant concept. Now, let's look at what happens when you only have two of these, okay? so. First up, the concept and customers. When you have a great food concept and you have identified who is it that you're selling to that loves your food concept, but you lack the convenient location and your restaurant is very, very far away from your customer avatar. Now I'll give you an example. There's this really, really great Chinese food that is all the way out in Langley, 45 minutes from where majority of the Chinese people live. And that's not really out of the way from where we live, but they sell one of the most delicious Peking duck out there. As much as we love it, probably would, we would take a trek out there maybe once a year, but if they were more, they were closer, they were more convenient, we would go probably once a month, okay? So that's the reason why there would be a lack of frequency in return customers if they don't have a good location. Now, next up, customers and location. You have the right customer avatar, you know exactly who you're serving, and they hang around your desired location for your food restaurant. But your food concept just doesn't align with what customers are looking for at that specific time. What's gonna happen? That's gonna lead to a lack of traction and a lack of demand for your restaurant. So, excuse me. For example, selling fish and chips to people in downtown core area during office hours. So with fish and chips, it's oily, it's messy, and it's soggy. And so not a lot of people are looking for that type of food during their work time. And that's the reason why it's gonna have a lack of traction and demand. Whereas if it's like a Chipotle bowl for office downtown people, it is much more of a receptive concept because first of all, it's convenient, it's healthy, and it is also not messy. That's the reason why having the right concept in the right location with your customers in mind is so, so important. Next up, we have location and concept. Having the prime location and a killer food concept, guys, but you lack the understanding of your customers and where they hang out. So for example, you're selling the best fine dining Greek food out there in prime downtown area, okay? When that happens, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? That means that's, that there's gonna be a lack of customers because of the high rent. And even if there are customers, there are just not enough demand to sustain your business because fine Greek food is probably more receptive to people that are Greek. And that's probably in Greek town. So that's the reason why you probably don't wanna have it in downtown core area where the people are not hanging out. So what happens when you find the golden trifecta, guys? You would have a great food concept at a prime location where 
your ideal customers are hanging out. And this is a formula for you to have lineups out the doors when these three components overlap. And that's how something, how we were able to have concept, uh, our concept do really, really well in multiple different cities that we have explored. So for example, like I was saying, Chipotle serves fast quality food for office workers in prime downtown location. And that's the reason why you see that they're so popular and they always have lineups out the doors every time you walk by a Chipotle. Now it is your turn, identify your golden trifecta and make sure each of the three components overlap so then you choose that concept that works with when all three of these guys overlap, okay? In the resource sheet down, down below, download it and you can actually go and start creating your golden trifecta. In the next lesson, you're gonna be learning the four money-making restaurant concept to choose from and their pros and cons. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.